Mike's a bit taller than I am. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is great to be here in Ottawa West of Pien. Specifically, it is great to be back home this week in what marks the first week anniversary of the opening of this race. Uh, for the next leader of the Ontario Progressive Conservative Party and the next Premier of Ontario. I'm pleased to be here today with my husband Joe and my daughter Victoria. Uh, a lot of people here from the P.M. Carleton, of course, and my colleague, uh, Jim McDonnell, uh, who's taken a role on my campaign. I know many people here are disappointed. Uh, we work very hard, specifically in this riding in Ottawa West Nepean, to support Randall Denley not once, but twice, and we lost. Not too far from here, I went door to door in the summer with uh, Randall, and we, I think, second week into the campaign, realized that it wasn't going to go our way. Then, on the Thursday before the election, he and I found out via Twitter that we weren't funding LRT in the city of Ottawa. That was a very tough day for us in this city. A party platform was released without, uh, specifically for our city without us having any input into that. I remember talking to Randall, he was the first person I called even before speaking with Joe about how disappointed we were. Anyway, we all know what happened in the last election. But as Dan Maynard just pointed out, we haven't just lost one election. We haven't just lost two elections. We have lost four consecutive elections in a row with three different leaders from three different parts of the province and three different parts of our party. We have a lot of soul searching to do and we have a lot of work to do. And your next leader is going to have to be able to sell our party to everyday Ontarians, soccer moms in the suburbs, new Canadians in our cities, and to farmers across this province. We must retain our rural base and grow in urban Ontario. And as the only urban MPP left in our caucus in a major city, I think I can do that. I've traveled the province on behalf of John Tory and on behalf of Tim Hudak. I've sold autism and austerity. I've worked hard to build bridges with our campaigns and candidates. And I can tell you this, the experiences that I've had on the road over the past four elections, of which you've gratefully returned me to Queen's Park, is this. I believe that we need to ensure everyday members of our party have a seat at the decision-making table during a campaign period. What do I mean by that? I think we need a member of the party executive that you choose to sit as a campaign co-chair. I also think a member of our sitting caucus who's elected by constituents sits at that table too. We should have two campaign co-chairs so that no more surprises occur on a campaign trail so that people like Randall Denley and myself don't find out via Twitter or via the newspaper that the party has taken a drastic decision in a policy matter in our community. We need to restore locally based decision making. We can't just talk about it. We have to do it. And as your leader, I will do that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have, uh, a lot of you know me, and you know my story about coming to Ontario with $200 in my pocket, no job, sleeping on a friend's sofa. I've worked hard. Many of you I've worked with on um, campaigns across the city. And you know that I, I take nothing for granted because I've never been given anything. It's never been handed to me. I remember a time when I first moved here on, El in, on, on Elgin Street in Ottawa. Mike Harris was the premier, and this place was the land of opportunity. There were help wanted signs all the way down Elgin Street, where there were windows filled with opportunity. I thought, I've come to heaven. This is a great place. If only these opportunities had existed in Nova Scotia, but they didn't. This was the place people from around the world and across Canada came. We need that to happen again. And ladies and gentlemen, as your next leader, I promise that I will fulfill that commitment to you. So I ask for your support. And if you're aligned with someone else, I ask for your second ballot support. Ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be home. Thanks very much and have a wonderful day.